Hey YouTube, this is Brian from AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks on YouTube. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a new Marineland product. This is the Magnum Polishing Filter. And full disclosure, Marineland sent me these to test out and to do a honest review, unboxing, that type of thing. So today what I'm going to do is an unboxing and um, show you the features and benefits and all the different pieces and parts uh, within this unit. Um, this unit, for the most part, I would say replaces the old Magnum HOT um, polishing filter. Uh, it was kind of a canister filter that hung on the tank um, and a lot of people had them on hand to use if they needed to quickly polish up the water, clean up the water in a tank without doing full maintenance. At least that's what I use it for. I've had one of these for, or one of the old ones for many years and used them when it came time to try to get a tank looking a little bit better quickly. I believe this is going to be the same type of a concept. However, you can use this as an everyday filter as well. Um, it's an internal canister filter. It's a small filter and it uh, is to be used inside the tank. Uh, it's suction cups to the, to the tank wall and um, yeah, we're going to test it out. We're going to look at it and see uh, what we can find out. We'll do an unboxing today, and then we'll show you some results and thoughts, uh, you know, days, weeks, months down the road, whatever it is, after I've had a chance to really um, run one of these and, um, you know, get used to what I, what I uh, can get out, of the, the, get out of the filter. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, so as you can see, we've got the box on the table here. gives you a good... Uh, um, picture of the unit. It says crystal clear water overnight. We'll give that a test and see, but if it's anything like the old Magnum HOT filter, um, that's probably true. Uh, it says that it's a compact and versatile micron polishing, powerful three-stage fil filtration. Filters 290 gallons per hour, and it's rated up to 97 gallons, it looks like. Um, some of the uh, advanced features it says a dual headed media or dual chamber media container, easy startup, no back flush, and two in one versatility, meaning that there's two different ways you can filter inside. Here's uh, a picture of it um, running inside of a fish tank. And basically, some of the features that it talks about here it's got a three year warranty, too. Magnum or Marine Land's always been really good with their warranties. Um, says that it's uh, used for water polishing. It's got that's the micron filter, mechanical filtration, chemical filtration like carbon, um, and biological filtration. You can do all those things within this filter. Here's kind of a cutout that uh, shows you what it looks like, and now we'll go ahead and unbox it. Okay, it starts with the uh, suction cup and the bracket that they go on, which is the exact same one if you ever use Marineland uh, MaxiJet um, wave makers or uh, pumps. Uh, it's the same one that goes on those. So that's a uh, uh, feature that is um, familiar. Here's the micron filter that you can put into it. These things are awesome. Um, they do real quick uh, polishing um, for fine particles and you can reuse them too. You wash them in a bleach and water uh, mixture and uh, can reuse them. Here is the unit itself. Now the first thing I notice is that, I don't know if this comes off, but this is basically a maxi jet power head up here and comes off like that. Yeah, if you look underneath too, they're using a, you know, the MaxiJet power head is an awesome, awesome power head that Marineland makes and has been tried and true. Uh, it looks like it comes out. I'm not gonna take it off here, but this is the housing in the, or the top, the top of the unit. This is where the water enters in. Just to give you an idea, here's my hand. This is the size of the canister. Um, what it's got in it is the 
mechanical filtration along with the container for your bio media or any you could use carbon and it's got a divider halfway down the middle I don't know if you can see that so you could put like carbon here and um, you know like secam pond matrix or something like that here um, or any type of media but I don't like to use a lot of carbon um, it's just something I prefer to do more bio filtration one other thing so I'm gonna I would fill this up if I were to use this I would fill it up with bio media you can also open it up like that which is pretty cool Got the two top and bottom piece but what the way I'm gonna use it is for uh, polishing with the micron filter so we're going to take that off you put in the gasket down there make sure it's down under the thing sorry that didn't make much sense under the thing and then we'll go ahead and put the top back on and you're ready to roll so this unit um, again here's my hand um, the it's a sleek looking unit this is gonna fit in probably you know something as small as a 20 or 15 gallon fish tank um, it's probably about 12 inches in height I would say again there's where the water sucks in it says it needs to be completely submerged um, so you do want to make sure that this is under the water level just like if you were using a marine land maxi jet um, I'll go ahead and show you Oh, one other thing it comes with other than the suction cups in here which is a feature that you always would see on the maxi jets I don't know I keep making comparisons to that but it's just because basically the power head on this is a maxi jet from what I can see put that on there to direct water flow also you could stick it doesn't come with it but you there's a you can stick a hose on there to get air coming through here if you like to have the look of air bubbles going through Um, I'm just inserting the suction cups onto the bracket. And then the bracket just goes on the back like that. And you suck it to the wall of the tank. So what I'm going to do is put this in a tank that's fairly cloudy right now due to um, basically neglect on my part. And then we're going to go ahead and see if the micron filter clears it up overnight like it says all right so as you can see I've got a couple of cloudy tanks here that have been neglected um, this one's a little worse however the water line is too low for the filter so I'm going to use this one we're going to just go ahead and install it and then um, we'll see how it works So I submerge it first of all, so the water starts getting into it. And then what I'm gonna do is just put the suction cups on the wall of the tank, and then you just slide the filter onto that. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, as you can see, we're already getting flow out of it. It's kind of priming itself. It's running fully. I think in a perfect world, it would be best if I had it on the back wall of this tank because the flow is kicking into that. Um, into the sidewall and actually that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and move it real quick you can see there's some good flow there take the lid off of this okay it's installed in the back of the tank now.
And so we're going to see how that uh, looks uh, tomorrow, um, see if it's cleared up, and, and we'll go from there. All right, so here we are back again a day later showing you the tank. <clears throat> the Magnum polishing filter has definitely cleared up this tank. Uh, not only has it um, cleared up the water, but it cleaned up a ton of debris, waste, fish food, things like that, that were on the bottom of the tank. Um, so the claim that it uh, will clear up a tank and overnight or whatever it said on the bottle or on the, on the uh, box is definitely true. Um, I knew that would be if it performed anything like the old one. Uh, but the difference between this one and the other one is this is a internal canister filter that you can continue to just use within your tank and um, uh, continue to just run it, whereas the other one was more of a hang on the back. Or not hang on the back, you really had to hang it on the front. There was never any room from the back in, unless you had a lot of space between the back wall of the tank and the wall in your room. Anyway, I'm rambling, but it does what it says. Again, this is using the Micron filter. And I'm just going to zoom in so that you can get a little bit better view of the tank uh, or of the tank with the filter in it. Um, the glass is a little bit dirty, so that's the spots you're seeing. But overall, I'm very happy with this unit and I would definitely recommend it. Um, don't see any drawbacks at all that I can think of, so um, highly recommended. So that wraps up this review. Uh, again, Magnum Polishing Filter by Marineland. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It did what it said it was going to do. If you like this type of thing and want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, also hit that subscribe uh, notification bell. Uh, make sure that you like it and make sure you leave a comment or any questions about the filter below. Um, also, I do um, pretty regular fish room tours of all my cichlid tanks in this uh, 35 plus uh, tank fish room. Um, my shrimp tanks and also my marine tanks upstairs. So thanks for watching. Until next time, later.